What's going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. I hope all of you guys had a wonderful weekend. Now, in today's video we'll be covering task 1 and task 2 speaking questions. So, the independent speaking portion of the TOEFL speaking section. Please take out your notebooks, grab your writing utensils, and get ready to take some awesome notes. Now that's the first task 1 question we'll be going over today because in today's video we'll be covering 4 questions all together. 2 for task 1 and 2 for task 2. All right, so that's the first question. Which of the following majors would you choose to focus on in university? A major that's easy, a major that's interesting, or a major that's taught by a good professor? So this question is giving us three choices. Now, for this question, you, sh you can say out of all the majors given in the question, but when in doubt, for any question that gives you three choices, you can always say out of all the choices given in the question, all right? So, I'm going to say out of all the choices given in the question just to keep it simple. Now that's the beginning sentence along with my opinion. Out of all the choices given in the question, I can say with the utmost confidence that I would choose to focus on a major that's interesting in university. All right? So that's the beginning sentence. Now, in this question, you should be able to notice pretty quickly that the phrase would you is in there. Now, if would you is in any speaking question, well, task one and task two questions, or just, sorry, if would you is in any task one question, I want you guys to say, I would blah, blah, blah for your opinion, because it's the easiest. So I, say, I said, I would choose to focus on, that's exactly the same as the question, focus on my opinion, a major that's interesting, when or where in university. So it's really simple, guys. Don't forget to look at the problem that's on the computer monitor when you're organizing the beginning sentence and your opinion. Pretty please. All right, so that's the beginning sentence and the ending sentence as well because it's almost identical. Well, it is identical. All right, now, for the first reason, I'm going to say selecting a major that's intriguing to me is very important. So that's the first reason. And for the second reason, I'm going to say pursuing something that's enjoyable is also really practical. All right, so those are my first and second reasons. The first reason's adjective is important, and the second reason's adjective is practical, all right? Now, for the first detail, I'm gonna talk about how I personally have a really tough time getting myself to focus and just sit down for a long time if I don't enjoy something. So that's the first detail. Now, for the second detail, I'm gonna talk about how individuals are normally able to find a way to work things out as long as they're having fun doing whatever they're doing. So obviously, the second detail is going to be a little bit more concise than the sentence that I just said because we only have 45 seconds to speak. Now, let's listen to my sample response. Please try lip syncing along with my sample response because the shadowing technique is one of the most effective ways to improve your speaking proficiencies. Understand? Out of all the choices given in the question, I can say with the utmost confidence that I would choose to focus on a major that's interesting in university. First of all, thanks to the experiences I've had, I've realized that selecting a major that's intriguing to me is really important. I believe this to be true mainly due to the fact that I usually have a really hard time getting myself to buckle down and concentrate when I don't enjoy something that I'm doing. On top of this, Pursuing something that's enjoyable is also really practical. In my perspective, this remains true to me since, as long as individuals are stimulated and having fun, they will find a way to work things out. All right, now, I was speaking really steadily, and that's why I had only about four seconds left when I was done saying the second detail. Now, this kind of speaking pace is, in my opinion, the best, the ideal, speaking tempo because you're giving yourself a lot of time to think ahead, think in advance what you're going to have to say after a punctuation mark, whether it be a comma or a period. You got to give yourself that kind of breathing room so that you can kind of think on your toes and ad lib, improvise when and if it is necessary. All right. And number two, if you're able to maintain a speaking tempo like this, you'll find yourself being able to spend 45 seconds very comfortably, and you'll be giving off an impression that you're very comfortable speaking English, which is obviously very, very important. All right, now let's move on to the second task one question. That's the second task one question that we'll be going over, so let's look at it together. 
Should parents force their children to do things that they do not like? Now, this is a yes or no question, so the beginning sentence is going to be a little bit different. That's the beginning sentence, with my opinion. In my point of view, the disadvantages of forcing children to do things they don't like are clear as day. Now, my opinion is no. I'm saying that parents should not force their children to do things that they don't like, which is why I only mentioned the disadvantages, okay? So one more time. In my point of view, the disadvantages of, look at the question, forcing children to do things that they don't like are clear as day. So please, once again, refer back to the question that's on the computer monitor when you're organizing your beginning sentence and your opinion. Now, for the first reason, it's gonna be really, really similar to what I just said for the first sample response, okay? The first reason is gonna be doing something that's not intriguing can be disastrous, okay? So in the first sample response, I said selecting a major that's intriguing to me is really important, but in this situation, I decided to change that slightly by saying doing something that's not interesting or intriguing can be disastrous, okay? Since we're focusing on the downsides, we have to talk or uh, talk about or mention an adjective that's, that has a negative connotation. All right, now for the second reason, I'm gonna say pursuing something that's enjoyable is also really practical. So that's the same as the first um, sample response, okay? Uh, now, the detail, for the first detail, we're gonna change things because I originally said that I know or I usually have a hard time buckling down, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna have to change the I to most children, okay? So the detail will be, most children usually have a hard time buckling down and concentrating when they don't enjoy something that they're doing, okay? So it's almost the same. Now for the second detail, I'm gonna say, instead of as long as people are enjoying or stimulated, blah, 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 I'm gonna change that to, as long as children are stimulated and having fun, they will find a way to work things out. So the only things that really changed within the two details was the main character, the subject of the detail sentences, all right? now. Let's listen to my sample response. Don't forget to try to lip sync and utilize the shadowing technique. In my point of view, the disadvantages of forcing children to do things that they don't like are clear as day. First of all, thanks to the experiences I've had, I've realized that doing something that's not intriguing can be disastrous. I believe this to be true mainly due to the fact that most young kids have a really tough time buckling down and concentrating when they do not enjoy something that they're doing. On top of this, pursuing something that's enjoyable is also really practical. In my perspective, this remains true to me since, as long as children are stimulated and having fun, they will find a way to work things out. Therefore, I definitely think that parents should not force their children to do things that they don't like. Okay, now I had about eight or seven seconds left when I was done saying the second detail this time around because the beginning sentence was much shorter than the beginning sentence for the first sample response, all right? So what I'm saying is if you're truly able to maintain a steady speaking tempo on a consistent basis, then you should be able to kind of expect the difference in time um, when and if parts of your responses become longer or shorter, you understand? So try to make it so that your speaking tempo becomes a constant variable, okay? So if we imagine ourselves, uh, if we imagine the, our speaking skills as an experiment, your speaking tempo should definitely be the constant variable that doesn't really fluctuate too much, understand? All right, now let's move on to task two. All right, that's the first task two question that we'll be going over, so let's look at it really quickly together. People tend to make better decisions when they work in groups. Do you agree or disagree? Now, for this question, I'm gonna agree with the statement. So, that's my beginning sentence. In my eyes, the statement that, look at the question, people tend to make better decisions when they work in groups, rings true to me. So it's really simple, guys. As long as you understand and know how to utilize my speaking template, and don't forget to look at the computer monitor, AKA the question, you really should not mess up the beginning sentence, all right? Okay, now, for the first reason, I'm gonna say cooperating with others is very beneficial, and for the second reason, I'm gonna say 
that making decisions alone can be detrimental. So since this is a task two question, we're gonna say doing something is beneficial and doing something can be detrimental since it's possible. Now, for the first detail, I'm gonna say how uh, cooperating or collaborating with other people enables individuals to bounce ideas off one another and thus make the best decision possible, okay? Now, for the second detail, I'm gonna utilize some famous adages, so some famous sayings. So I'm gonna start it off by saying, as the famous saying goes, the more the merrier, meaning that two heads are usually better than one. So those are two famous sayings that I decided to kind of take advantage of for this detail. All right, now let's listen to my sample response. In my eyes, the statement that people tend to make better decisions when they work in groups rings true to me. To begin with, the first thing that came to my mind as I read this question is that cooperating with others is very beneficial. This is mainly due to the fact that doing so enables individuals to bounce ideas off one another and thus make the best decision possible. In addition, another reason that supports my opinion is that making important choices alone can be detrimental. This notion makes perfect sense to me since, as the famous saying goes, the more the merrier, meaning that two heads are usually better than one. As a result, I definitely think that people tend to make better decisions when they work in groups. <laughs> okay, now, um, after I was done seeing the second detail, I noticed that I had about seven seconds left, which is more than enough time for me to say the ending statement. Now, I know that I had to reach over to my laptop and press the space bar, so it seemed like um, I was kind of pushing the envelope or uh, cutting it too close, but in reality, if I didn't have to make that big gesture, then I would have just been chilling out and the stopwatch would have been ringing about a second or two after I was done saying everything that I wanted to say. All right, now let's move on to the second task two question. Do you prefer to do things alone or with other people? Now, what do you think our opinion is gonna be? It's definitely gonna be do things with other people. So the beginning sentence is, if I really had to make a choice between, look at the question, doing things alone and with other people, I would honestly prefer the latter. Now, the two reasons are the only parts that really change. For the first reason, we're gonna say the same thing. Cooperating with others is very beneficial. But for the second reason, we're gonna have to change it to, instead of making choices alone, we're gonna have to change that to doing things alone, okay? So that's the only difference. The two details remain exactly the same, all right? Okay, I really hope you guys enjoyed the sample responses and the questions that we covered in today's video. If you did, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you still have not done so, share the fact that I'm doing something like this on YouTube, and please don't hesitate to ask me about my services via Facebook Messenger or email. Now the next video is gonna be focusing on task three and task five questions. So if those questions are challenging to you, please stay tuned and be sure to check out the next video. Peace out.